Hi, I'm Jane Farnham, TV presenter and interior designer. I'm working with Terry's Fabrics to help you get the best out of your home improvements. In this series of short videos, we aim to take the issues our customers tell us that they're having with decorating and DIY and provide easy to follow, helpful solutions. Here you have almost carte blanche, a blank canvas. A good tip for whatever style or arrangement you choose, however, is to remain close to the proportions of the window. You could simply mount a blind within the window recess. If you have interesting architectural features around the window that you don't want to lose, for example, this would keep the look very simple yet functional, without hiding any valuable detail. And depending on the style of your room and any mounting restrictions, all styles of blind should work here. Simple curtains on a pole can be used to give height to the window if the pole is mounted a good distance above the top of the recess. On a portrait window like this, it is quite feasible to join the top of the curtains at the centre of the pole and scoop them back off the window with a tie back or hold back. This effect can make both the window and the room appear taller, thus making a significant feature of what is otherwise a relatively small window. Tall columns of uniform folds can be created with eyelet heading to give a window height. The folds stack back neatly, creating an elongated effect, which is both sculptural and elegant. Similarly, if the window is particularly tall or narrow to start with, you can change the proportion and add width by extending the pole a good distance to either side of the recess. Layering is a good arrangement to adopt in this situation and here, simple curtains on a pole are pulled back from the window with a tie back or hold back, but are not joined in the centre. A blind is mounted behind the curtains exactly in line with the top of the pole and hides the bare wall space above the window between the two curtains. Layering adds depth to windows as well as detail and provides the opportunity to use coordinating or contrasting fabrics to introduce accent or key colours. For a narrow portrait window, instead of a pair of curtains, you could balance a single curtain pulled to one side with furniture or pictures on the other side. Depth and function can again be achieved with some layering and here a working Roman blind has been installed inside the window recess. Well I hope you found this video useful. There are more guides and lots more information on the Terry's Fabrics website and if you're looking for inspiration try clicking on the On Trends section where you'll find lots of useful tips and advice from seasonal fashions to useful products.